Good morning and welcome here to the Golf Ticket Presents Cape Town Club Cricket League T10. We are on day four and awaiting us is match seven. That between Northern Skuru Cricket Club sponsored by Taz 777 and they up against Steigerberg Cricket Club. They are sponsored by MG Lion. As you can see it's a lovely gorgeous day out there and we're waiting the action to commence here on day four and earlier we did the pitch report as well as the toss I'm here to the golf ticket presents Cape Town Club Cricket League T10 we're here on day four match number seven between Northern's Good at Cricket Club sponsored by Taj 777 and they're gonna be up against Tigerberg Cricket Club they are sponsored by MG Lion we're here on day four. We're on a brand new strip here. So as we look at this wicket, let's have a look and see what it looks like. It's an even covering of grass right throughout this pitch. Okay, but again, it's got a little bit of a sheen color to it. So for me, it looks like there's a little bit of moisture in this pitch. So what does that entail for this toss? I think the team that wins the toss is gonna keep on with what we've seen over the past three days. They would want a bowl. The reason being, it's got that little moisture in it. The seamers would, might want to get it and get the ball to seam a little bit spinners they might want to see it grip a little bit so for me it's going to be the team that win the toss they're going to want to bowl so let's see what happens at that toss that was the pitch report done earlier it looked a little bit juicy out there so let's go over to the toss and see the outcome of that earlier. Just waiting to see what the outcome of the toss was. But yeah, with me today, I have on comms. He's James King. James, I'm sure you're looking forward to the day in this T10 competition. Absolutely, Eugene, thank you very much for that intro. It's wonderful to be here at the Cape Town Club Cricket League. Okay, so now we're gonna to go to the toss and see what happened there. Good morning again here from the Golf Ticket Presents Cape Town Club Cricket League T10. This is match seven here on day four, and we have the match between Northern Scooter Cricket Club sponsored by Taz 777 and they're going to be up against Tigerberg Cricket Club sponsored by MG Lion. Both these teams are searching for their first victory in this competition. It's going to be Northern's good. It's going to be Ambrose. He's going to toss and it's going to be Ati to do the call. Ambrose with a toss. It's a tails, the call and it rolled and it is a tail. So Tiger Bay Cricket Club have won the toss. What are you going to do? if you can come to me, please. What do you, what do you decided to do? Uh, we decided we're going to have a ball first. Well, looking at what conditions are, it doesn't surprise me, but he's sticking to what has happened all the past the three days. Yeah, the wicket has been playing different throughout the week, so hopefully the wicket can speed up a bit with the sun out. So hopefully in the next second innings it will be easier to bat. You lost your first game, a lot of learnings that took place in this. I'm sure you're looking up for maybe getting a W on the cards today. Yeah, we're looking for that W. We couldn't execute our bowling in the first game, so hopefully our execution today will be spot on. What about any changes to your lineup? Any guys coming in that we can look forward to seeing today? No, we're going unchanged for today. Different batting lineup though, so yeah. Any thoughts about that batting lineup? Yeah, we're looking to accelerating the power play and hopefully we can kick on a gear in the outside of the power play okay all the best for you and Tigerberg cheers thank you Ambrose just a quick word with you I'm sure you would have wanted to bowl first as well yes yeah that was the plan yeah to bowl first yeah. but it's fine we'll take the take the bat first you guys had a really tight the only close game so far losing out in a super over again probably a lot of learnings for you guys taking place I think it was 16 or 17 dot balls in that game Yes, there was a lot of dot balls. I've spoken to the guys and we need to rotate the strike. If it's not, if the boundary shot is not there, we're going to have to take the ones and twos. 
What about any changes to your team and the guys that are coming in? Are they going to be effective in this shorter format of the game? Uh, yes, we've got uh, some experienced guys coming in. Uh, Tashis is coming back. Um, and then we have Ashley Green. He's also coming back with a ball. Um, and then, I'm not sure who the other guy is, but he's also an impact player, so don't worry, he's, he's good. he knows his job. Does that mean you've got a longer batting lineup for today? Yes, we have a batting lineup for today, yes. It's so <laughs> not a bad thing batting first then? Yes, no, that's fine. That's okay, so I said we'll take it. We'll Listen, take it. Ambrose, all the best and go well today. Thanks a lot, eh? Thanks. That's the news here at the toss, where Tiger Bay Creek Club, sponsored by MG Lion, they've won the toss and they've elected to bowl first. And that was the toss where Northern Skudud, they were going to be the team to bat first here after losing that toss to Tigerberg Cricket Club. And James King, he's with me. How do conditions look for you out there? Yeah, I think Eugene, just uh, looking at the pitch conditions this morning, definitely the right call to bowl first. Looks like with a new pitch we got today, the other pitch having been used for the first three days of the tournament, Looks like we're going to have best conditions for bowling up front. Yeah, and as we look at those two teams there on, on your screen, a couple of dangerous players. Both these teams are obviously searching for that first victory in this competition. Northern School of Day on the left. Darren Lee Norman. Dorman, he has a lot of experience. You can see he's going to be playing his shots. They've got Tashas back as, into the side as well. So they had to make four changes in that team. And the team here on the right, Tiger Bay Cricket Club, they are unchanged. Laden with some good cricketers. Mm -hmm. They just didn't come off the other day. So here on match day four, match number seven, I'm sure they would want to get a W. Absolutely, really important for both of these teams here to get points on the board, having lost their first games in the tournament, but early days yet in this competition. Yeah, and as you see, the umpires, and they are obviously sponsored by ID247. They are making their way to the middle there for this match. And it's a very crucial match in this early stages of this competition for both these teams. They would want to get a W as early as they can. And again, beautiful day here in Cape Town. Not a cloud in sight. Uh, Going to be a really hot one out there today, Eugene. Expected temperature 31 degrees as we go into the afternoon. So... Really going to be tough for the guys out there. Yeah, it's going to be hot conditions, certainly for both these teams. Jordan Bowers is the man that's going to be facing up here. With him is Larry D. Lee Dorman batting with him. Open the bowling here for Tiger McCree Club. It's going to be Antley Adams. It's going to be interesting to see up front, uh, Eugene, how much movement potentially they're going to be getting off the surface here. Tell you what, I would want to have that ball in hand after seeing those conditions out there. Brand spanking new white ball, proud seam. <laughs> you certainly would, Eugene. It's going to be moving around, I'm sure, quite a lot there off the seam and... Maybe some movement in the air as well. We'll just see what's going to be happening. Really exciting times ahead for us as, as the opening bowler just uh, measured up his run in there. So soon to be underway. Yeah, and there's anybody that can get any bit of movement out there, whether it's through the air or off the seam, is this man, Anthony Adams. He is a senior, senior man in the team. He was a captain for the season, the cricketing season. He's not captain today. He's handed it over to his brother. There's a number of Adams in that family there. I see there's the two Adams there. So it's Ethan, is it? That's Antley going to vote, number 14. All oh, right. Ethan, Ethan is the captain, yeah. number 17. They've also got a Azario. Okay, so all the A's uh, in the Adams. There's a fourth one also with an A. <laughs> okay. That's uh, great. Anyway, we'll be going past umpire Mawanda Chambai, and we've got Vimpy Nell, Sandy, at the other end. There we go, and beats the bat. First up there, keeper for Tigerberg is Janae Kassim. Really good keeper. So he beats the bat there of Jordan. The 
youngster being given a nod here, early doors here by Gordon Scooted. He spoke about movement. I told you, James, there it is for everybody to see. Oh, my word. Right up front, we're getting some serious movement off the uh, pitch here and swing in the air. So it's really, really going to be tough for the batters out there, first thing, Eugene. Why not get a slip in there? Get a slip in there. Yeah, it looks a bit defensive to me. That's an excellent shot. Confidently played through to the offside. He gets off the mark, does Jordy. That's going to bring the dangerous Darren Lee Norman. I'm looking forward to seeing this uh, Darren Lee Norman batting. If you said Eugene, already got the shots all over the place. Going to be able to really knock that ball around. I tell you what, starts with his stance. He's got a wide stance. And if he decides, no, this ball's going to go to the leg side, he sort of just plays it like that. If he wants to hit the ball through the offside, gives himself room. Oh, well, it's going to be very interesting. T10, no time to hang around. You've got to get going right from the get-go. And we always look at that every over being breaking it up into three balls. So the first three balls definitely going the way of Tigerberg. That's down the left side. That's going to be wide as signaled by the umpire. A little bit of nerves maybe there from the bowler, knowing this man's going to hit him out the ground. I don't think it's nerves. I just think he just maybe just got the line wrong. So <laughs> let's just, uh, yeah, that's the type of pressure he does put on bowlers. Oh, Two stumps up the ground and Tigerberg Cricket Club. They strike early and the danger and Darren Lee Dorman, he's gone. Oh, what a strike early on that is uh, from Adley Adams. Brilliant delivery, Yorker length, and just takes out the middle and leg stump. And again, we see a wicket fall in the first over of a match here. Yeah. It's just uncanny how many wickets fall in that first over of every innings. Thus far here in the golf ticket presents Cape Town Club Cricket League T10 matches here that we've had and that we've seen. It's so uncanny, James. Well, yeah, that one, just a beauty of a delivery. You perhaps don't expect that first up, do you? And uh, just angling into him and taking out those stumps. Tashis Ro Rubenheimer, he's the new man making his way to the crease here. He's the new man coming in. He usually captains Northern Scooter. He captained them through the season here. And it sees him. Look at this. Look. Look at this. Look at this. That's a beauty. It's what you want to see as a bowler, isn't it? Uh, I just always want to see stumps fly. <laughs> Kept only by the cartwheeling uh, Simone Biles type of delivery. <laughs> oh. Conditions the way they are here. I mean, oh, we struggle to find a stump cart wheeling all over the park. As you see, ID 247, they are obviously the sponsors there of the umpires. He, they didn't need to make a decision there. We do have Wilma on the third umpire. She's sitting here waiting to see if she's going to have some work to do. They certainly had a life of leisure, the third umpires in this tournament. Well, she didn't need to have anything to do with that first one, was it? It was a pure, simple bowl. Is it going to be two and two? It is. He's it walking. He's walking. Yeah. That's unbelievable from the batter. Well done there, sir. Well, let's go kudos to Tashus. Not sure the umpire was going to give it. It was a huge appeal. Did he for the umpire on his way straight away? Was uh, Tertius and uh, back to the pavilions are two and two, and we're looking at a hat trick ball. Yeah, we get to have a hat trick. We had one bowler be on a hat trick so far in this game, and I'm sure now Tagaba Creek Club they're gonna try and get a slip in there because that ball is moving around off the deck. 
Yeah, not quite understanding why I didn't have that in right from the beginning after I saw how that ball was moving around off the first delivery. Here we have Van Norman. He's making his way. He was part of the successful over 40 South Africa team that won the World Cup here not so long ago in Cape Town. And now he's got it all to do here. Coming in at number four, he's getting the old first bump there from Jordy. Yeah, a ton of experience, Werner Mulman, and did exceptionally well in that over 40s tournament earlier in the season, which South Africa went on to win, as you said, Eugene, brilliant performance from them. Yeah, brilliant, and hopefully our Proteus can do the same thing with the T20 World Cup. Not so long to go for that. Now happening later this year in the U.S. and the Caribbean. And our focus, though, turns to Andy Adams. Still no slip. Surely, come on, get somebody in there. You fold an unbelievable over. you got one ball to go. you two for two. Patrick ball. Ooh, just managed to squeeze that out. Quick ball, and they come through. And what an over that has been for Tiger McCree Club as well as Andy Adams. Incredible stuff there, Eugene, as he's just taken the number one and number three right out. Number two and number three right out for Northern's Goodwood. So brilliant stuff from Tigerberg, certainly justifying that decision to uh, bowl first. Especially the early games that what we've seen here, especially with being on a new wicket and with a little bit of sheen on it, obviously after the roller's been on it for a good while. You just see a nice little scene from, it's almost like a reflection you get of the sun. And that indicates there's a little bit of moisture, and that's certainly what it did and looked. And now with that brand new ball, as I said, it's just a little nip off the seam. And that's what you get if you really big, hit the good length here in good areas. Yeah, as you were saying earlier on at the pitch report, just a little bit soft underneath at the moment. It's going to dry out quite a bit today in this heat. Should turn out to be a very good batting track over the next couple of days. I'll tell you what, the team's batting uh, in the second match would be loving it because it will certainly be a good, at its best, certainly in that afternoon game. But we have Ruben Menor taking up the seedings from the town end here for Tiger McCree Club. They are sponsored by NG Lion, and I'm telling you, that lion is roaring here, getting two wickets in the first over. Is the most certainly roaring today. And we'll see how they can go in this over and if they can make any further breakthroughs. It's looking really difficult for Northern's Goodwill at the moment. Yeah, North Tiger Bakery Club, aka Tigers as they called their nickname. But now it's Ruben Munar. Again, beats the outside edge. And yes, I know it's a T10. But conditions is telling you, listen, just get somebody in there just to catch the ball and slip potentially. Yeah, I just have to agree with you. You know, they've not been conceding any runs so far in the power play. Get somebody in there. Give themselves a chance. Well, this is going to sound a little bit funny to you. I'll come back to it after this ball. That's in the air. It's just been squirted over. Point. It's going to be Antley Adams that picks it up and it's going to be two. But here's something you don't see every day. The first thing you put on as a cricketer, especially a male cricketer, is what piece of garment, James King? <laughs> uh, they might call it an abdominal protector these days. <laughs> well, the old man, Werner Mormon, he forgot to put his on. I'm not sure what the message is there. Don't want to be his wife. Well, now uh, that number 10 on his back, he's got uh, 10 out of 10 for protection now. Well, I tell you what, never, never have I thought I'll see that at this level. <laughs> or perhaps he wasn't quite ready to go on after that first wicket. In fact, the second wicket, uh, two going down and two balls. <laughs> Surely that's the first thing you put on before you put your pads on. I would have thought so. It's going to be a wide. Yeah, oh, almost, too, almost too much movement there, Eugene. Uh, this ball is really moving around significantly. Yeah, it is. And the umpire there, Bumpy now, one of the leading men here in the Western Province. Well, has been on many of the panels. 
for the Junior and Cup tournaments, the Crowns, South Africa as well. Experienced umpire. There it is, another one. And it's another edge. What a beauty, just in the right place and moving away from the right and uh, cannot get anywhere near it except for the edge and just play down the wrong line. What is necessary and Tiger Bird Cricket Club sponsored by NG Lion. The Tigers are roaring here. My oh, goodness, the cats have got their thing going this morning. They're the big cats making it happen here. MG Lion sponsoring the Tigers, and it's they're roaring indeed. Got their claws out this morning. Yeah, that they certainly have. going to be Nokia, Keenan Nokia, he's a new man coming in here and they got it all to do, three down, inside two overs, they've got it all to do here, Northern Skudu, sponsored by Tar 777, of course both these teams still searching for their first victory in this tournament. Into the second over already, three down, that doesn't give them much room really to Go for their shots either if they're going to lose a few more wickets. Looks like a very important toss to have won, James. Well, I think certainly probably makes uh, the game seem like it's going the way of Tigerberg already here with Northern's Goodwood only six on the loss of three in the second over. And that second over still got three balls to go. So we've had nine balls in the innings. And just nine out of that 60, so 15% gone. That's played nicely there. Played it actually quite positively through the offside there. He's a sweep on the offside, so that goes for one. Yeah, good looking shot. He got his foot way across and into the line of that one, just managing to sort out that swing as it's naturally being the away swing here from Reuben. You've got to love parents, so whenever their son is in, facing up, they're always nervous. The father's on the left side, behind the trees. The mother's on the right-hand side, on the phone. Just all nervous tension. That's it, down to mud on. Yeah, he played that one well. It was pitched up and was going to be moving away from him. Managed to get in line down to that mid-on position. As you say, with me having experience of that myself, <laughs> son and daughter <laughs> playing whatever sport it was, but certainly spent many hours next to the cricket field. And I just find it fascinating watching the parents on the sideline, especially when the youngsters are batting, or even bowling for that matter. That's Ruben Menor. He steams in again here. It's flat. Straight to Muran. Certainly a confident young man and looks like it. Another brilliant over there for Tigerberg. The Tigers have certainly got their claws out and they're showing their stripes today. As we see that batting card and at this stage nothing to talk about. Only single figure, single digits, telephone numbers as we say. But excellent bowling figures there. Antley Adams, double strike in his first over, two for three. And Ruben Murnard also a very tidy over, one for four. Yeah, just... And, and that's the next game here. We can't and look forward to that game. Obviously, we'll be Ronda Bosch Cricket Club, sponsored by Winfair 247. They'll be up against Belleville Cricket Club, sponsored by Bedbrick 7. That awaits us, but now our attention... Goes to Antley Adams. Yeah. Oh, an excellent work, and that throw is going to be wide. Well done there by Janaid. And that I think they have to do. They just got to get the scoreboard ticking along, even just with ones. Eventually, they're going to get a ball that's going to come in their half, and sometimes you can. Maybe pick on a bowler that's going to come on as well and maybe target him. 
Yeah, 100%, Eugene. It's about making the most of what they can do, and there's plenty of opportunity on the leg side to get those singles. Beats the edge again. So you just got to, as a batter, you just got to commit. I know the ball's moving around a little bit here, but you just got to commit, really just get in line. I see Jory batting on off stump, so he's trying to negate the swing there a little bit. And would you say, Eugene, you're going to go, you've got to go hard. You've got to go, you've got to go hard, James King said. One bounce four, as you said, on cue. There you have it. bit of uh, lovely wrist movement there through the ball as well. Yeah, just going after the width at that time. What's the response going to be here? That's pulled away. It's not going to be caught though. Are they going to come back with two? Ayabonga with a fielding. Just going to be one. Now then, that is that the intent? That can spark a little bit of momentum going forward here for Northern Scooter Cricket Club. Yeah, really good to see here from the young man taking it on. That's in the air again. Franco coming around. Is this going to be one? But this is a much better rover here for the men in yellow. Sponsored by Tar 777 Northern Scooter Creek Club. They just got to see it out there. They don't want to lose a wicket. So we're going to that all important sixth ball year again, James. Very, very important here. They're going to want to get something off this. It was already gone for seven. Let's see if they can make that double figures. What a shot! Picked up nicely by Jordy. Is it going to go? Oh, it's, ball seemed to have had a little bit of a backspin in that. Oh, I would have, I would have loved that shot. I could get that shot with my seven rhyme. And just sit on the pitch like that did there. Ball just didn't go. Maybe it's just that early morning deal again, but a good over that time for Northern's good. And yeah, nine off the over, and that's put them in a much better frame of mind and position right now. So Tigerberg CC, sponsored by MG Lion, have made a good start. Three down inside the power play, 16 for three after the first three. And Northern's Goodwood, sponsored by Taj777. They are wanting to really push on now after that positive third over. And it's young Wago Bessic, the man from Bishops. He's going to take up proceedings here from the town end. For Tigerberg Cricket Club, youngster, only 15 years old, already had, made his senior debut for his club side as well, and he's had a really good year for Bishops. Great to see the youngsters here, Eugene, playing here in this tournament with the men and just really making it happen. Uh, that's always time for the youngsters. Get them in. Get themselves challenging against sort of the best of the best here in the club scene. Banged in short. Keep up, keep up. They're coming back for two. Oh, and it is going to be two. Now, this is the interesting thing for me. We're playing on the pitch right on the left hand side. From where we're looking at it. And the field that sweep the boundary, he's on the boundary. Surely he can come up about 10 or so yards. Well, he's giving away two virtually every single time if you're staying on the boundary. Oh, not even you saying Bolt will stop two there, man. That's Keenan. He's trying to. Keenan Nokia is trying to put the impetus into the innings. This busy with the fourth. They've already had one close game. It was a lone scoring game. Northern's good at I think you're the right approach here, though, Eugene. It's 
going to be out of the off stump that time. Keenan not happy with the call by umpire Vimpinel. And I'm sure umpire Vimpinel have seen it all before. He's had bigger men question his decisions. He's not going to give in to any of them. That uh, looked fair enough to me. Good delivery outside the line of the off stump by the youngster. Uh, this time, umpire Vimpinel. I'm just going to show him that's a wide. And you saw this in his, in the first game, Wager bowled as well. So the, the last three balls, he's sort of been very indifferent from the youngster. And sometimes as his teams and his competition grow on, they'll sort of identify that. They'll think, oh, okay, if his first three balls on the money, let's just wait for the, for the last three and cash in then. Family hit down to long on. Yeah, the approach, though, I think, from the batters here is much better in looking at and seem to have got the idea of how the pitch is playing now, I've been in for an over or two. You've got to give yourself some time. The ball was moving around. So, Jordy on strike now. He certainly plays with flair, the youngster. Yeah, he's giving it a real go out there, isn't he? Which is really what you want to see. You don't have much time to get in. You really got to go from ball one. So after this ball, I'm going to try and get pick your brains here and see what do you think would be a good score here? That's another ball. And you see if you hit the, the surface here, you get some reward. So, James King, You've been put on the spot here. So where do you think, or where do you ideally would you like to see Northern's Guru come out and see what score they can get here that can that they can defend? Well, I think, Eugene, this stage, they'd be targeting maybe 80, looking at a, at least 10 and over from here. If they can keep wickets in hand, that's a possibility. A wicket or two, probably going to drop them down into the 60, 70 range, you think. Yeah, I have to agree with you. So, how do we get there? How do we get to 10 runs and over? Saying, okay, maybe we have to hit one boundary and over. Have to run well, turn ones into twos. It's a very big real estate here on the right-hand side from how we look at it. And still, they I just don't understand why they're all the way on the boundary. Now, it doesn't really make sense that they're fully on the boundary, you, you know, you think even with a catch opportunity you're going to be coming in, you're going to be having a better chance of taking that wicket. So there's two every day if you're going to knock that ball into the leg side. Ayabonga, the new bowler, starts with a full toss. And somehow the ball went from a full toss to short fine leg. Not getting hold of that at all. He would have wanted to have dispatched that over there into the Billy 777 sign on the far right-hand side. And just uh, even that umpire's uh, sponsor's ID 247 board. Forget about the board. That should have cleared the fences by miles. Okay, slowly fall. Now then. Here we're going to see the place at that time. Shaden Hendricks, he's very quick. It's like a whooper there from the boundary comes in. Yeah, as you say, really and quickly. And you have to be here. Yeah, otherwise, you're going to give away two every single time. That's up in the air. It's going to land safe. One feels. It's just going to be one. Now, is there somebody that can play the reverse sweep to the short of the boundaries we have here today? Because the boundaries on this side, where they're trying to attack to, that's big. Yeah, you'd be thinking they'd be trying to figure that out. Yay! Again, trying to go for the big area. Ayabonga, bows are straight, and that's a fourth wicket gone. So look at this again. Trying to hit it out the ground again, and he pays the price. Ask the question to 
Michael Weinberg, the, the captain of Victoria Q Club, and I just sort of said to him, do you think it's a little bit of a bish and a bash and, you know, guys just going out there? And he says, no, you still got to have a little bit of a thinking about you, especially in the shorter format of the game as well. And I just think, just trying to attack the bigger boundary with big, strong shots maybe not be the, the option there. There's loads of real estate. They could, could run us between the wickets, and they could have turned that into two. So it's just got to be a little bit of better thinking that time, maybe to execute and get more runs on the board. And it's going to be the captain now. Apologies, it's Vivian Engelbrecht. He's going to make his way to the crease. He's joining Jordy. And even at this early stage, there's a lot that depends on Jordy now, the youngster. Absolutely right. He's been looking good so far. And Vivian Engelbrecht joining him now. Is he going to be able to keep that scoreboard ticking along? I have to agree with you, Gene. The uh, twos are there on offer in that uh, long boundary to the leg side and then you can target the ball from the other end to the short boundary on the leg side. Well, Ayabonga, he strikes in his first over. He's bowling now to Engelbrecht. That's a full toss again, ball being hit out. I tell you what, it's going to be an interesting call this today where we find ourselves on pitch on the left hand side. Got away with that one, Ayabonga. He did indeed. Got away without the no ball as well. He's here again. He left arm orthodox spinner. That's, That's a big hit. Yes, it's not going to be big enough. And as I just said, you've got to be smarter hitting to the bigger boundary. It is a long, long way to the boundary there. And again, they're trying to take it on and another batsman falls. That's five down. Yeah, let's have a look at this one again. A really good catch taken on that square leg. Uh, but against the spin he's playing, he doesn't get all of it necessarily. That's a long, long boundary. Well taken by the young man coming in from uh, backwards square. So, five down now. Let's uh, going to need to revise that total. I don't, th I don't think you can revise that total. I think... Now, what they got in their favor tell you this much, they had a tight game. They had a game where they defended 69. Apologies, they were not defending that. They were chasing that. So again, they going to be under the pump and the batting here. They've got to find a way. I don't think 69 is going to cut the mustard. Captain Ambrose is in now and into the attack as well as Ate. Nathan Adams, he's into the attack. I'm sure he, he's somebody that he doesn't want his brother to outdo him. <laughs> well, he's going to have to do really well to do better than his brother today with those two wickets and two balls earlier on from Andley Adams. The 25 for five at the moment on Northern's Goodwood. Very interesting field that Ati has here. He's got a team under the pump, 25 for 5. So he's got all the fielders on the offside saving one. So he's got the point, he's got the man just in front of point, he's got a cover and he's got a mud off. Those are the four fielders inside. He's got a few boundary rounders, so he's fancying these guys to hit the ball to that shorter boundary. Certainly looks that way. If they're going to play it through the offside, it might not even get to the boundary. Well, I'm sure uh, that's one he got away with there. Groans and moans here to the right-hand side here by the Yellow Army. And uh, the scorers are like, please don't shout at me. I'm just calling it as I see it. Yeah, that's one for the over, most definitely. That's a big out, that is. He's making his way down to third man. This is going to be one, but change. 
you've got a team, five down, under pressure, the ball's moving around. Why don't just stick to what you've seen that was so successful early on and just keep bowling a good line and length? I have to agree with you there. Keep it in that channel outside the off stump. They're not going to be able to play that down to the left side. Big hit. Seems to have been well fielded. Two fielders are looking at each other. Yeah, he put the catch and down, but it's uh, certainly good that he's able to save the six there. That's all. That's a bit too casual. All resulted in a single. That's lofted. Straight to the man. In the covers. And that's the end of Ambrose. He's gone. And that six wickets gone now. Some serious trouble here on Northern's Goodwood. For the man just tracking back from cover. And, and that's a length ball. See, that's with conditions as they've been dished up here for us today. You just have to just bowl a length ball, just bowl good areas, and you could be in the, in the business here as baby Seister makes his way out to the crease. You'd love to have a bowl on this uh, particular track, wouldn't you, Eugene? Said that before ball was bowled. <laughs> so these two has it all to do here for Tiger Bird Creek Club, sponsored by Tars 777. like another youngster at the crease here, Piers Seister. I tell you what, you should speak to him off the field. Certainly bats himself as well. I haven't seen much of him personally, so looking forward to see how he goes here for the remaining overs. Yeah, he's got a big job to do. Just bowl length. Yeah. It's simple. Yeah, another good delivery there and doing exactly what you said they should do there, Eugene. Just line and length outside that off stump, make the batters do the work. Yeah, it's only Jordan there, as you can see on that batting card for Tiger. Uh, apologies for Northern Scooter in double figures. But for the rest, it's all just telephone numbers, as you can see there. They just have to try and get as much as they can in the remaining overs here and those are the impressive figures of all the bowlers used. The most expensive one was Antley Adams but he had a double wicket in his first over of this match. Can we see a big heave to the onside. Maybe Seist is coming back. Unfortunately a little bit of a slip there by Shaden Hendricks. They come back for two. And that's what they have to do. Yeah, there's two on offer for these two. If they just noodle it into the leg side, and you sense 12 and over is possible. That's again. Moves over to the leg side. That boundary is a country mile, let me tell you. They come back for two, though. And you see in the bottom of that screen, the projected score is 47. That's not going to be anywhere near enough. They've got to try and even work their way to 70 if they can. That's a big hit. That's a huge hit. First maximum of the day. Beautiful hit. Vivian Engelbrecht not even getting any any credit for that shot. Somebody else got the credit. 
for that, whoever's bat that was. Well bowled at by Ayabonga. Oh, the ball's been thrown, and they're going to come back for two. Now, that's 12 off the over with the ball to come and just hit one boundary. Yes, it was a maximum, but that just shows there's plenty of twos out there. Yeah, two every day here into the leg side, and they're putting the fielders under pressure as well there. Again, this time bowled into the wicket. They're going to come. Well, they're going to come for two. And this is going to be a very important period here for Tiger Book Creek Club. They don't want to let, let Northern Scooter off the, off the hatch here. They're under the pump. And with these twos now, come just adds to the score. They're trying to build a little bit of momentum. Oh, much better. 14 off that over. And all of those coming to Vivian Engelbrecht. He's now top scorer, 17 off nine, heading towards that 200 strike rate. Yes, 18 balls to go. What can they come up with? Run a ball takes them to 60. That's, we can't even talk about run a ball here in T10 cricket. So it's going to be Wago Vesic. He's going to continue for Tiger, Tiger Bird Cricket Club. He's going to go with the same field that Ati had. That's bow length, youngster. Big swing there by Baby Seister. Hey, he's doing the right thing going at it high. He's just not close enough to the wall. He's not getting across far enough. And that's a great delivery once again from the youngster, Waker. That's picked up. How's it going to go all the way? That's you! Second maximum, and that thing takes him to 48. Well, there we go. So much for projected scores on this rate. Uh, just based on the run rate team so far. That's a beauty. Just picked it up to the short boundary. But I don't understand. Another short ball banged into the shorter boundary now. And it basically clocked that for six. This is played nicely. They could come back to two. No, it's only going to be one. Now a little bit of momentum for the men in yellow here. Moving to 49. Yeah, finally the yellow peril making itself felt here as the men in black now need to respond. That's going to be Tigerberg Tigers, sponsored by MG Lion. who are going to see what they can do here. Yeah, so seven of the first three balls. Find a way to cut this back here, does Wago. Smashed down to long off. It's just going to be one. Seems to be making better use of the bat that he's have there. Get through the covers. That ball is racing away. Can the ball get to the boundary? The dive comes in, but they're surely going to get three. That's a great shot. Good looking shot. Good feeling. But they're back for three. Good running from these two youngsters. Takes that to 11 off the over, and you combine that with the 14 of the previous. They're starting to make it look like they're going to get some kind of total to bowl at. Try to squash that. It's just going to be one. But again, another good over here for Northern Scooter. Sponsored by Tar 777. So we reached 54 for 6. 12 balls to go in the innings here. And is there a little bit of a momentum shift here for the Northern Scooter Creek team? As you look at the bowling figures, they've all been good, all been impressive. Conditions, yes, has favored the seamers and the bowlers. But that's the next match to come. Match 8 here. You'll see Rondebos Cricket Club. They're sponsored by Winfair 247. They'll be up against Balville.
sponsored by Betrix Seven. That's coming up later. But now it's going to be Ethan Adams again to bowl. They're all important penultimate over here. Ethan Adams looking to emulate his brother here to get another wicket. It's been 28 for six. They were, but now into the 50s, 54 for six. This partnership has been really important for Northern's Goodwood. And that projective score, 68. They want to get past that. They don't want to get that tag of scoring the lowest total in this competition. i tell you, no team wants that. Pride on the line here. Most definitely. Hit through the covers. First ball of the ninth over goes for four. Vivian Engelbrecht, take a bar. Don't care who's back you got, but you're certainly putting it to great use. of that full toss. I mean, this should be two. I'm putting my head on it. Here they come. Throw comes in to the keeper's end. Two runs at ease. Are we going to go to the third on par? No, we're not. Yeah, and that's uh, Pierce just giving his partner a round of applause for getting back there. Two runs. Go to that four. It's got off the first ball. It's looking like a good over so far for Northern's Goodwood. Six off two. Ball number three. Here we go. Getting it in the Yorker. It's just going to be one. So then, now then. Dear Seister, a.k.a. Baby Seister, what can you dish up here? Nine balls remaining in this innings. They've got to keep going here. They've got to get past 70 for sure. 75. Can they get up to 80? It's possible. they just got to keep hitting those balls through to the boundaries. Baby Sisa, no way. Over the top. One bounce, four. Don't call me Baby Sisa. My name is Pierce. You beauty. That was a great shot. Over the ball, the safest place on the field to play the ball. Takes the score. Now on to 65 for six. Surely 80 can be on the cards here. Looks like at this stage. This time he's bold. That's a comeback you always want as a bowler. Bowls him. And that seven wickets gone now. With one ball still remaining here. In this Into the short boundary for four, but he doesn't manage that. But he's done a great job for his team here, getting them into the 60s with a chance of getting to that 80, at least something to bowl at for Northern's Goodwood. Yeah, I'm sure. And the new man here is Dwayne Abel. And will he be able to get some runs here for Northern's Goodwood? They're definitely a sporting family. Brothers George and Alex. If you sit around talking to them, they scored brilliant hundreds, took brilliant five first, six first, and they're still doing scoring the runs off the side of the pitch as well. Let's see what they got left in the tank here. Northern's Goodwood. See if they can get to that elusive eighty. 
we thought would be a good total off. They got into it really early trouble. Six for three it was in the second over. So they've done well so far to get to this 65. That partnership for the seventh wicket with 37. Big swing and that's a dark ball to conclude the ninth as we go in to the final over of this match. Between Northern Scooter sponsored by Tower 777. They are up against Tigerberg Creek Club sponsored by MG Line. And there's a the scorecard. And in Vivian Engelbrecht, what an innings this has been by, by him. 26 or 14 deliveries. He says playing lone hand. Conditions were favorable for the bowlers. And that's the bowlers. As you see by those figures, they have enjoyed a really good day out here. Wickets are plenty. It's going to be Ruben Minard to bowl the final over of this match from the town end. Yeah, opening bowler back for his last over and the last over of the innings, just the four of his first over. I don't think that uh, Tigerberg will want him, uh, well, they will want him to go for four of this last over, won't they? They will walk off the pitch if you say the old final over's just gone for four. So here we go with the final over. What can they muster up here? Oh, yeah. Umpire gives it wide, bumping now. You don't want to give any extras away. Definitely not good. Yeah, he just doesn't want to give too much exercise there to Vimpinel on this really, really hot day. Full toss. Can Abel, Abel his way back for two. It's all about Bovian now. He comes back. Tell you what, he might turn like a tugboat, but he certainly got the speed of a man, of a sprinter, getting down there. Turns around for two. Uh, it's a beauty. Beauty, Eugene. That's picked up. That's who? That's maximum. What a beauty. He could only find the outside edge, but big Vivian, he's finding the middle of it. Uh, you got a bat, you got to use it. Smashed again through the covers. That ball is racing away. Seviano, Cupido after it. It's just going to be two, though. That's a big, uh, big real estate out there. Nearly getting to the boundary. And what an innings this has been for Vivian Engelbrecht. Still three balls to come. 76. Your 80s on the cards here, James. Oh, I think they're going to get past that. A brilliant effort here from v Vivian Engelbrecht. Don't put the muckers on them, James. Three balls to go. Now they put a sweep on the offside. Get your running shoes on, Dwayne Abel. You've got to run two as best you can here, man. Down the leg side, or just went in between. Just he went in between batsman and the leg stump. Sort of firing in at the toes there. Ruben Munner gets a dot for his team. Yeah, Vivian Engelbrecht just moving away, trying to give himself some room there. And that one got followed by the ball. A good bowling there from Munner, it was. <laughs> That's going to go to two point. Oh, no, they're going to come back for two. The basics of the game, just letting them down here at the back end of this innings. Two more runs. 78 with one ball to go. Can they get up to 80? 
can they get up to 84, maybe even 82? Yeah, important loss, boy. Who's going to go into the dressing room with the advantage? That's hit downtown. Is it going to go all the way? No, it doesn't. That's taken by Wago Bessick on the boundary. But what an innings it has been by Vervi and Engelbrecht. He gone for 38 of 90 deliveries, and I tell you what, that is the most valuable 38 deliveries to see this team. competition. Trying to go for it. The block is on him today. Short by two runs now. Yeah, I did it. Did in for myself there, I think, uh, Eugene. With that, what a great innings from Vivian Engelbrecht taking them to, to that 78 for 8. Now, yeah, they got to 78, and yes, thanks to Vivian Engelbrecht as well there. So there's a lot of things in it for the wicket as well. I think Northern Skurud Cricket Club, sponsored by TAR 777, they're not out of this contest as well. Conditions slightly favoring the bowlers here as we're looking at that batting card. Jordan, he will look good for his 11, youngster. Then it was all just single digits. But then Vivian Engelbrecht coming in there, using the fact of Cassius, who got a first baller, hitting some good blows there. Pierce Seist also played his hands with a good 14. And that all added up to them getting up to 78. Great innings there from Vivian Engelbrecht. Very well supported by Pierce Seist there. Managed to get them up to that uh, total of 78, which may well be defendable, as you say, on Eugene on this pitch. Yeah, and that was good bowling, though, by a Tiger Bay Cricket Club as well, just containing them. And that is going to be match eight. That's going to be match this afternoon between Rondebosch Cricket Club, sponsored by Winfair 247. The Premier League champions, they'll be up against Belleville Cricket Club, sponsored by Betbrick 7. That's still to come, but I think we end for a very good game here in the second innings. We I think conditions are going to favorable, be favorable for the bowlers as well. So how are they going to play here?
Cape Town Club Cricket League T10 for the game here between Northern Good, who's sponsored by Tower 777, and we have Tiger Boat Cricket Club sponsored by MG Line. With me is Jason, sort of the chap, the chairman, as well as the coach, I'm led to believe, of Northern Good. How have you found this T10 competition so far, Jason? Yes, it's a fantastic competition to have. It's good uh, scope for the youngsters, young talent that we've got, and we're very happy to be part of it. Thanks to all the sponsors. Right. Looks like you're going to have another tight game here, a low scoring game. The previous one, you couldn't take seven, uh, 69. It was, you guys mustered up 68. Do you think that's going to be enough? Yeah, it's very dependable. Uh, you see, me now, the tournament's not easy. Uh, this is a new tournament for everyone, so they're all adapting to the, to the playing conditions, to the way to take your innings. But, uh, 78, I think, dependable. Yeah, you guys have got to really bowl and try and get some early wickets. I'm sure you'll be wanting that to try and get a W in this competition early doors. Yes, yes, we, we have to play on the favourites this time. We had a few to, to beat them and we just didn't get there to the last hurdle, but we are um, sure we can pull it off here today. See, you brought the whole Northern Scooter crowd with you as well. They have full in supporting your team as well? Yes, we, you know, Northern Scooter comes with support. We, we, we're very uh, supportive club. I'd like to sit around and watch cricket, enjoy cricket. They said all the best there for you and your team. Yeah, all the best to everyone. Thanks. We now call on Big Coach B. He's the coach here of Tiger Bird Cricket Club. Finally get a man that can look eye to eye with here. Coach B, how's your experience been in this T10 competition so far? It's been a pretty good one actually. Um, obviously we are just in the format. Coming off a long season, the guys are... Well, I won't say rusty, but it just took us a while to get into the tournament. Um, so I'm hoping to get us with the mark today. That first off, it was very impressive, that early start. Maybe a little bit indifferent with the basis of the game, but you must have been impressed with the showing with the ball there by you guys. Yeah, look, after the first game, we had a lot to talk about as far as bringing our lens back and just keeping it simple. And I think we did that today. Um, Bark up and over, there's always going to be an opportunity for runs. We still was, but I think we did um, one of all. We heard at the toss there that Aiken said that he wanted to go hard in that power play period. Is your plan still the same, chasing 79? Uh, yeah, yes. we did make a little bit of a change. Um, so we've got Franco Katzner coming up top with Shaden. Um, we just want to make sure that we, we get this match up to score runs. And then also um, Franco is a quick runner between the wickets as well. So we're hoping to um, take advantage of that. You also brought your crowd there from Tiger Woods. They'll be boisterous, I'm sure. Yeah, I know for sure. Uh, look, the cool thing is that um, the community is always behind us. And uh, it's also um, good to see the, the faces as well. You know, so for many faces after a long season, is always a bit refreshing. So I'm hoping that they can take us over the line being the 13th man. Listen, all the best to you and your team, not just for this match, but for the remainder of the tournament. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Let's go back to the action here. We will see the second innings of this match between Northern Guru and Tiger Bird Cricket Club. match so far we've got Northern Goodwood getting 78 for 8 in their 10 overs. Vivian Engelbrecht 38 of 20. Brilliant innings from him and Pierce Sice they're helping him. Um, 28 for 6 it was they got through to 78 for 8 and good figures there from Ayabonga and Gondo but it was really up front. Those two wickets uh, first up for Andley Adams in his First over that really set the scene for Tigerberg. So the Lions, uh, sorry, the Tigers of Tigerberg roaring, sponsored by MG Lion. And now it's going to be the Northern's Goodwood team in their yellow kit. Northern's Goodwood sponsored by Taj 777 in this golf ticket. Cape Town Club Cricket League T10. Match 7 we have here later on today at 1.30. It is going to be match 8 between Rondebosch and Belleville. And we'll be bringing that game as well. But uh, umpires, Mawande Chambai and Vimpinel out there in the middle. And they are about to witness, so we are about to witness as well, the innings of Tigerberg as they go in chase of this 79 to win against Northern's Goodwood. So, and uh, welcome back here 
in the commentary, Eugene Merlion. <laughs> Thanks, James. Just uh, running around there in that searing heat that we're experiencing here over a blessed Easter weekend here. That's a feat. That's the numbers of Satan Hendricks. He's not going to be the man on strike. It's going to be Franco. He's the man on strike here, number four for Tiger Bird Creek Club. Shaden Hendricks, he will be an exciting prospect, especially in this sort of format of the game. He loves playing his shots. How's he going to adapt to a moving ball out there? That's what I'm interested to see. Can they extract the same sort of movement that Tiger Bird got here in the first innings? Vivian Engelbrecht, he was classed with bat in ball, with bat in hand. He's now got the ball. Can he have the same type of impact here for Northern Scudu? It's going to be a very interesting contest see, uh, to see if they're going to get as much movement as the Tiger Bird bowlers did first up this morning. As Engelbrecht towards us now. That's just pushed into the offside, just one. And I feel that that's what he's going to be doing all the time. It's going to leave the attacking play there to Shaden Hendricks. You know, he's gone. It's not Bjorn Hollenbach on strike, unfortunately. He's going to be coming down the order. So Shaden Hendricks, he's on strike. That's up. That's over. He's not going to go all the way. It's going to be one bounce for... Well, that's the way to start it, isn't it? To uh, go at it hard from the word go and perhaps not quite as much. Field set deep. This is good cricket, this by Tiger Bakulop. Very good start from them. Six off the first three balls. And you were saying earlier on, Eugene, in this uh, T10 format, you look at it almost in three ball stanzas and saying, right, okay, first three balls definitely gone the way of the men in black. This time it was a a little bit of a swing, a little bit of shape there for Vivian. He just needs to bring his length back a little bit. It's just too full. And with that full of length, you can just get your hands through. And that was important thing that Tiger Bird bowlers did. They just had that good length, back of a length. Yeah, Franco, they're having a go at that one. That's up in the air. The ball's gone straight up in the blue sky. And... It's been dropped. I feel it completely crestfallen by that. You can see, just expecting him to take that. Those are the ones you practice every single day of the week. <laughs> Same man. He's dropped it again. You cannot script this. You actually cannot script this. Not even the best filmmakers could script this that I've just seen. This two, two balls we've just seen. Uh, you're absolutely right. You can't, you cannot script these. This is cricket. This is cricket. Nothing, I mean, anything can happen, can it? That is just unbelievable. The ball following him. Eugene's, the look on Eugene's face is just an absolute picture. I wish there was a camera out here right now showing you. <laughs> it's unbelievable. You know what's to come here? He's bowling the next over. The guy that has just dropped. Both catches, in identical fashion, is bowling the next over. 
Well, this is the chance now either to redeem himself or to make it just even worse for him. Can a, can a bad day get even worse? Well, let's go for a double wicket made in here. Why not? Now, that's something that maybe a Hollywood would script. So the just let me just let me uh, soak all that in for a bit there, James. You you go on. Yeah, it's going to be Green now bowling, and he, see if he can redeem himself with this uh, over. And as Eugene says, double wicket maiden is going to be the only thing that he's going to be looking for right now, as right on target or. Uh, the team from Tigerberg as they uh, look to chase down this 79. Eight without loss after the first over. I think, Ambrose, this is, this is a good... Uh, apologies, James. I think this is a good thing that Ambrose is doing here. Saying to the man, listen, it should have been two wickets down. So I'm going to throw the ball to you and uh, see if you can get us a maybe a bang-bang here, as we say in cricket. What, a, what is this over going to dish up for us? What's going to happen here? Ashley Green running in. That's a dark ball. Now, from what I see, he's hitting the deck here nicely. I'd rather not want to see him walk with his head down like that. What's done is done. It's gone. It's history. But he's got a, he's got a chance here to get a wicket and make amends for one of those two drop catches. Yeah, 100%. You've got to look forward, don't you? You can't look back and say what has happened. You've got to take that out of your mind completely. It's all a mind game out there at the moment for Ashley Green. Two dot ball. A lot of support for Ashley from the sideline. Every time he bowls a dot ball, his head is so slightly getting higher and higher. Keep looking up, young man. Don't be looking down at the ground. Two dot balls for Ashley Green. Ball number three. Dot number three for Ashley Green. After the first dot, they had one clap from the spectators. The second dot brought about two or three. The third dot brought about ten. What's, what's Paul, Paul going to do? Van a moment up to the stumps now. Now then, more pressure here on Shaden. Sort of ramps it. No one there. And that's going to be a four for Shaden. Yeah, great shot there from Shaden. Just area, and so they get the first boundary. And so it was very quiet to our right hand side then. Yeah, but they should have at least a short fine leg, at least for that. Just gives him a little bit more options. They've done that now. Yeah, I think for Ashley Green, probably those horses bolted a while ago, maybe in the previous over. This is going to be, this is going to be a single. Oh, he just misses it. Well, in fairness to Ashley Green, this has been a good over. You know, he really tried to pick himself up. Ran in, still running in, bowling well here for his team. Can he finish well now, Eugene? Just five so far off this over. going to bring Franco. He's on strike. He's only on two or three deliveries. 
as they bring third man into the ring. So they've got a sweep on the offside. And the deep mid will get on the leg again on the boundary. Not sure why he's out there. But anyway, Ashley Green steaming in. Can he get a wicket? It's a slower ball bowled. It's just going to be one. But fair dues to him. Good comeback by Ashley Green. And that's after two overs. The score is 14 without loss. Yeah, he was still getting some really nice shape outside that off stump, wasn't he, early on in the over. Particularly late swing. Really good. Yeah, that's the bowling figure so far. As the coach puts the... The water beverages in the shade over there. It's a sweltering day here. That's the match summary. 79 for victory here for Tiger Bay Creek Club. It's going to be Vivian to continue. He's bowling to Franco. And that one is sort of moose behind square on the left side. Four of the first ball. Goes to Franco. That's exactly what you wanted. The batting team get that boundary early on in the over. Puts them into a good position, 18 without loss. Excellent that. He sort of just, I will say, moost as well. He's down too long. Shaden's very, very quick. He's a whippet. The ball's going to come. They're supposed to have come here to the keeper's end. And they ran two. And I said it before. Shaden Hendricks, he's extremely quick between the wickets. And all that adds up to only to one run. All that effort running up and down for one run because it was a short run. And just trying too hard to get to that second, maybe. Just turning short of the crease. Chalked that cue, youngster. <laughs> Just chalked it over to the offside. One more run. 60 runs needed of the remaining 46 deliveries. Are we in for a humdinger here? Is it going to be a tight game? Well, this stage, it's advantage most definitely to Tigerberg. The Tigers are looking like they're going to be bearing their fangs here today with their batting effort. And that's flick. That's what Shaden Hendricks does. Walks across and just flicks that over to fine leg. And that's four. Glorious shot. Let's look at that one again. He really takes full toll of this one on the line of middle and leg. And he just beautifully plays it over the net short. That fine leg there, 45. He saw him walk across there. And I think Vivian still went straight at the stumps and it's just a little bit of a pickup shot. That's a shorter boundary that we have on that side today. He does it again. Is it going to be a six? Yes, it's gone all the way. That's the first maximum for Tiger Blue Cricket Club and it goes to Shaden Hendricks. What a shot. Dangerous player in this format, white ball cricket, even shorter format, T10 cricket. He's got full license just to go out there and play shots. He's moved to 20 of just 10 deliveries. That's his supporting crowd there, and they found the shade. Tries to do it again. few words being said there by Vivian. I'm not sure if they speak the same lingo. I'm sure they were just sort of talking about where they're going to have lunch today, maybe. No, nah, I don't think they eat out of the same establishment. Uh, that's the scorecard there. Franco is just playing a little bit of a spectator job. That's about the figures. After that expensive over by Vivian Engelbrecht. 
He finishes with two overs for 24. 16 off that over it really was a tough one for Vivian Engelbrecht and really brilliant bowling there from Jaden. Uh, batting, sorry, from Jaden. He's playing those. A beautiful pick up six for stunning shot. Yeah, some of the crowd seeing themselves on the, the big screen that we have here. Enjoying the day's festivities. Yeah, I'm Saturday, Easter weekend. Eric Osner. Now, this guy, he just ambles into the wicket. He just sometimes looks innocuous, but he always manages to get wickets and tries to keep things tied. Tidy. And I hope I'm not putting the markers on him here as he's bowling to Franco. Ball is left again. That's excellent work by Franco. They're thinking of a third. Not going to get that. Not sure of this field, though. No, you would think they would have a man that would be at that 45 position, although he is the left arm orthodox spinner. Should be bowling. And one outside the off stump, spinning away from the right hander. Yes, they've gone for the more conventional point cover, fine leg, and mid wicket in the ring. Those are your ring fielders. Boundary riders on the leg side are still way out on the boundary. Taking the pace way off that. So that's the equation you can see on the bottom right of your, your screen. 47 needed. 44 still remaining. 10 wickets in hand. That is smashed through the, the offside. Just going to be one. Now they don't need to go all out right now, do they, as we get the Jaden, he's taking both a middle and off and a middle and leg guard there, and the center, so just seeing where he's going to be batting against uh, this uh, slow left arm orthodox spin, interesting to see the guard. That's a little bit quick, he managed to get something on it, and Ampas tapping his hands, that's an indication he got a little bit of bat on that, they come back for two yeah, always well good to get those soft signals from the umpire yeah, it gives us a little bit of an early indication as well, two balls to go in this over tosses that up, but what a shot that is, over extra cover one bounce, four by Shaden Hendricks Excellent shot. A stunning shot from Jaden Hendricks, really playing well out there. You say he can hit that ball really hard, and he's ideal man for this type of format. Advantage Tigerberg definitely at the moment. Just. Stick in the crease, but it's going to be two here. The throw comes in. It's just going to be the two. So another excellent over. 11 runs coming off that. Yeah, at this stage, 41 without loss after four, and they're cruising uh, with uh, it is Shaden Hendricks, 28 of 14. So that strike rate 200. He's really doing a great job there. Yeah, and especially now for, in terms of Tiger Bakri Club, they will want to think of that net run rate. They've lost their first game. And I still say it's going to be quite tight with teams. Probably going to be evenly matched as we see the next game here between Ronda Boss Cricket Club, sponsored by Winfair 247. They'll be up against Belleville. they sponsored by Bed Brick 7. So teams are going to have to think about that net run rate situation as well because that's going to play its part in this tournament. Both teams looking for their first win of the tournament. At this stage, you say, big advantage at the moment to Tigerberg. That's going to be Franco, who is uh, on strike. And he's just going to want to work that ball around, get Shaden back on strike, you'd think. Yeah, he should just do that. I think Shaden is a man of form. He should just try and hit the ball to one as it's... Ambrose, the captain, he's going to come into the attack here for 
Northern Scooter. Can he play a captain's hand here and try and stem the flow? Only 38 needed of 36. He loved his with 10 wickets in hand. Surely, surely Tiger Burgos should be favorites here. That's just a big swing. Now, I said it during that first inning. Sometimes this game just calls out for some a little bit thinking. Could have just brought that into the covers, get one, get Shaden on strike. You're one of one. That adrenaline, though, is pumping through those veins at the moment. No, it's just that on-field management, very important. This time he squeezes it through to the offside. It's just going to be one. He should have done that. They could have not got a dot ball. Because dot balls are not what you want in this format. But that brings a dangerous shade in Hendricks. He's on strike. 28 or 14 to lovely smashing it at 200 strike rate here. Here's a dot ball. Not sure if it was an edge. Van and Moorman, he's the keeper. He's standing up. Yeah, Moorman doing a great job there, standing up to the uh, medium pacer. Good takes from the over 40 South African player. That's played firmly downtown. Franco's very quickly, the throw comes in. Just gone, gather that, can Ambrose. They come back to two, though. But this has been a good over by Ambrose. Now, can he see it out here? Yeah. It's been fairly tidy. Yeah, just the three so far. And he's going to be on it, be finishing it really well. Firmly hit down to long off. It's just going to be one. There's still something in it. Is there a span in the works here in this match? Is there somebody that can have a little bit of a double wicket, you know, over that he's got? And it's another. That is the third catch dropped by Northern's Guru Cricket Club, sponsored by Taj 777. He made good ground to his left, though. Dwayne Abel just couldn't manage to get that and hold on to that. Yeah, he got down, but just not enough to get the hands underneath it and hold on to it. Bobbled out, and he hit the ground there. And that really is something that could have been an opportunity, perhaps, that Northern's Goodwood have just missed out on there. They need to take wickets here, need to stem the flow. You know, wickets is a good way of stemming the flow. Because with 10 wickets in hand, surely everybody will be backing Tiger Bay Cricket Club. But I tell you what, I still feel there's something that could be turning here. Could be something just to drive us and keep us on the edge here, James. Is there a little bit of something special from the men in yellow? A little bit of a run out. A great catch, diving catch to his left. He's or oh, he's right. Cricket always tends to deliver something different, doesn't it? Something that you just don't expect. Yes, and that's what I'm saying. Just not sure here. Everybody would be saying Tigerberg should be walking this game. 33 or 30 balls. Eric Osner comes in again. Again, he gets an inside edge, makes him wait, short, fine leg. And I'm still not sure why they're trying to hit the boundary that is eight miles long here. I have to agree with you, Eugene. Now there's two. You get it anywhere square on the leg side. There's two any moment, any time here because that's long boundary. There's an opportunity. Moorman is up, and the umpire has given him, and that's the end of Shaden Hendricks. He has to depart here for 31. He's not happy with the decision, but he has to go, and he's that a turning point in this game. Could well be the. <laughs> on the second attempt, but did he get an edge? Well, certainly. 
umpire. I wonder, Chambe thought so, and he has to go. I think you're just disappointed there. Yeah, I think he's probably doubly disappointed, maybe with a shot as well with the decision. Unfortunately, he suggested came straight off the forearm and got up. We'll have to look at that one again as Kirtley Low makes his way to the crease here. He is a hard-hitting batsman as well. He didn't do any, any buzz in the first game. He was very unfortunate, went out LBW. So he's been looking to try to make amends. He's been struggling with injury this season, but when he got playing, he's a really good player. Those figures you see there is for halfway through the season. He certainly can go at a big click as well in terms of strike rate. Yeah, 50 over cricket, strike rate 91. Good strike rate there, Eugene, and you're expecting him. Hopefully he'll be able to just use that game management, have a look at it and say, okay, we don't have to really go for it from ball one here for me. I can have a bit of a look maybe and play it into the leg side, get a couple of singles. I think that's the way you should be trying to look at it. Especially, that's why I'm going to go on about this big boundary again. You can hit the ball down the ground for one. You can try and get twos yes to the longer boundary. And then when the ball from the town end, where if you're right hand, the shorter boundary is there for the taking which, and we've seen balls just being clocked for fours and sixes there so it's just a little bit of game management for sure Mr. King and I hope I haven't put the marcus here on court below, I'd like to see him get going here oh, textbook for defences there to their first delivery uh, going to be interesting to see, I mean there's so much real estate here on the leg side that you're going to be able to uh, even build a house on it, I think. Excellent ball there by Eric. First the dot, then he beats the outside edge. It's going to be three dots in a row. Now then, here we hear the crowd again getting into it. They need more of that. Here comes ball number five. Here goes ball number five. It's just going to be one, but two runs in that over and a wicket. Eric conceding 13 runs, one of his two overs, getting the wicket of Shade and Endress. That, as you can see on the scorecard, he was magnificent, scoring 31 runs of 18 deliveries, hitting the ball to all parts. Just a two off that over there, Eugene. Big over that one for Northern Goodwood. And can they get back into the game? So it's 30 required of four overs. 31 required of four overs. It's still not over yet, this game. Uh, it's never over. It's never over. You've got a spanner, throw it in the works there. You've got a well-oiled machine, throw some sand into it, just grind it out. Who knows where we're going to go here. Ambrose, the captain, he's still going to bowl. He's going to bowl to Kirtley Low now. He will fans himself to that leg side, I tell you, because he likes to whip the ball with wrist around to that side. Oh. It's the pad, one field. It's a big throw. Oh, gee. That's leg by. Yeah, I just heard in my ear that these two make a great combination, Kirtley Low and Ambrose. They'll be known as Kirtley Ambrose. <laughs> they do indeed. I was just thinking of that. He's going to be wanting to bowl like Ambrose, isn't he? Kirtley Ambrose. And <laughs> that ball is squeezed past. Back with a point. Jordy with ball in hand. He's going to keep it down to two. Like seven between uh, seven and seven and a half and over needed to win this one here for Tigerberg Cricket Club. They're going to feel very confident with just the one wicket down. Again, going next time this time, no run. Says Kirtley Low. Dot ball, 28 runs needed. He got away with that one, didn't he? Franco just not able to get that one away. Certainly will not be feeling happy about that. The pressure mounting on the batters. Three balls gone, three runs only. 
again moves down to the leg side. It's just going to be one. Tell you what, this game is going down to the wire. 20 balls still remaining. 27 runs still needed. Three or three. Results still on the cards here. A win for the team in yellow. A win for the team in black. Or that super rover. Exactly not getting that one. He's not going to be one that's going to run very quickly. He's just back from a knee injury. So he's not going to be turning quite quickly. So that's another one. So we're down to that all-important sixth ball again here. And that's the seventh over. James King. Are we in for a little bit of a tight squeeze here? That's only going to be one again. as Jordy makes his way. Every time Jordy picks up the ball, his fan favorite gives a big shot. And that concludes the seventh over here. Crucial over coming up here now, Eugene. What are they going to get off this one? Anything in single digits uh, around five or six is going to mean we're in for a really tight finish. I think we're in that already there. As Ambrose East con concluded his two overs, only going for, s for 11 runs. And that's the next match on show. Ron Boss Cricket Club, sponsored by Winfair 247. They're up against Powerville Cricket Club, sponsored by Bet Bricks 7. And this uh, wonderful golf ticket, Cape Town Cri Club Cricket League T10. What a match we're seeing here in front of us unfolding as our Northerns Goodwood going to be able to restrict this team to less than uh, 25 in the final three overs. It's possible. It's possible. And we have the, this was going to be uh, Shane Warne out there. They're going to be saying to you, it's not over till the fat boy spins. Well. I wouldn't say that, James King. That is, I want nothing to do with what James King just said there. I'm not part of that crowd. All I'm going to say is, is Dwayne Abel, and will he be able to do the thing here for Norton's Guru Cricket Club? 25 runs needed, 18 balls still to go. Oh, just lofted up in the air. It's just going to be one. Not so sure I would loft that ball up that high. But he managed to get past the first ball. One run. 17 balls remaining. 24 runs. That's a full toss. And that's an unbelievable stop. Captain Courageous himself. Ambrose Vasaki. What a stop, mate. I was looking at that one into the uh, extra cover boundary. That's up in the air. That's big. That's huge. That's in. That's in the. That's far. <laughs> that is like 75 meter territory. Easy. Maybe even more than that. It's a huge hit. I said, James, you cannot be lofting it up like that above the eye line to some of these batters. They just stand there. And hit through the line. Look at that. Look at the position of the That ball. That one just is gone, gone, gone. Ah, then it's coming around the wicket now, Mr. Abel. What's your response here? Seems to have got a good response. That's just going to be the one. Eight runs conceded in the silver. Still 17 runs needed, 14 balls to go. JK, which way are we going here, sir? Where is this game lying? Advantage again with Tigerberg. Not sure about that. Franco just needs to keep his head here. Just get one. Ones are important as well. Just keep the scoreboard moving positively. All important. Ball number six. There we go. Two dots. Now then, shifts again the pressure back on to Tiger because they require for the 17 runs here of 12 deliveries. Can it be two in two in terms of super or over matches here for the team in yellow? Northern Scooted Cricket Club sponsored by Taj 777. They got nine wickets in hand. This is supposed to be a doddle.
Yes, indeed. It's supposed to be at, at this stage. Uh, you're never going to know what's going to happen here. 17 of 12. I'll tell you what, the, whatever beverage is being held very tightly. People are going through the vapes, cigarettes, trying to just calm their nerves on the edge of the seat. It's going to be Pierre Seister to bowl. This all-important second, last over, the penultimate over. Now, what we've seen him dished up from that first game, he likes to hit the, the back of the length as well. He likes to change his pace. But what is important here is bowling to the shorter boundary for his right-handers to the left side. And that boundary is available to the right-handed batters here. Well, you'll never see the crowd so quiet, I tell you. All sitting in it. It's, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, it's really quiet. It's been the amount of pickle fish they've ate last night. Who knows? <laughs> well, I think so. Could well be that. Uh, Easter time. Big here in the Cape from a pickle fish point of view. JK, they're all sitting there leaning forward, trying to get another bevy. Here we go, Seister in. It's a big appeal. And still they're targeting the pads here. It seems it's going to be a leg bar. Oh, no, it seems a little bit of bat there, says the umpire as one of the spectators makes a falling impression here on us. <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> Oh, we don't need to see now. Do you think uh, it's going to be so? So far, just the one ball, one run. Any dot ball in this over, I reckon we could be hearing the cheers from uh, Tio to our right. Just have to wait and see. Sasta running in here. 11 ball still remaining. 16 needed. Hits the pad. Now then. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Single. You said a dot ball. Singles are being applauded here. Well, absolutely right. Singles uh, can do it for them as well. It's starting to look like it's getting to very, very difficult time now. Tiger Big, 15 of 10. One boundary is going to make this even closer. Uh, one boundary will put Tiger Big Creek Club firmly with the favorites here. Anything under that. Northern's good at right. Fancy themselves here. 15 needed. 10 balls still to go. Seister running in. Hold him! Hold him! Yorker delivery. Now then, JK. Now then, where are we going? We talked about a split. We talked about that was with the bale still sitting on between the middle and leg stumps it's quite something here as we see the number four coming out for Tigerberg and yeah we're going to go down right to the wire super over all three results still in opportunity here JK all three still here but that man Sinead Cassie making his way to the crease now and he Sort of play a little bit of a gem that Tiger Bird need to get them across the line. How did this game get this close? It seemed for all sense and purposes they were walking this game. They just call, were calling out for just game awareness, hitting the ones. They were trying to hit the fours. Yeah, they were at one stage, like just over a run, a ball, and now what is going to happen? We're going to see the super overloading maybe here. That certainly will be getting Eugene Merleon's uh, juices flowing here. <laughs> 15 needed. Nine balls still to go. Seister. Short. Oh, no. You know, sometimes you see things and you're just baffled. <laughs> hey, you just go and script these things. I mean, really now. Anyway, let's get back to the action. 14 needed. Nine balls still remaining. It's still anybody's game. Anybody's game. That's going to be clocked down the ground. It's just going to be one. Eight balls remaining. Better yet, two balls in this over. What can they muster up here? 13 runs still required off eight balls for Tigerberg Cricket Club.
who said low scoring games can't be exciting everybody sitting here watching applauding every run we're all on the edge of our seats and eugene standing up here it's just getting to that stage where it's really exciting and two balls to go in this over they always say second last over is the one you've got to go for penultimate over is always the over penultimate over is the all important in over but how many can pierce size to give to anybody not sure who that's going to be they, i think they want to retire the batter out it <laughs> looks like it <laughs> they want to send somebody new in franco still there on 21. he's got to take them home hasn't he not hurt by any means doesn't look like he's hurt can that is squeezed now can they get two Ball's going to come now. Oh. That was a great attempt. But it's been called to the third umpire. Wilma. Wilma. You're earning your stripes here. It's been referred. Decision pending here for a run out. I think this is going to give everybody a chance just to catch a breather. Players, fielders, batters, bowlers, spectators alike. I'm going to go with an early call and say this is not out. Just not sure about which way that's going to go. The decision's still pending. Everybody looking at the big screen. That's the two old, old hands, Eric and Dorman there. Looks like they're sitting at home watching a big TV. Just get a movie on there. <laughs> it does look like that. Maybe one of their phone numbers is 555. You never know. This is a really tough one for the third umpire here. I told you, earning our stripes today, Wilma. Let's just move on. The silence here you're hearing is because we're all waiting. waiting with bated breath here you're allowed to breathe people here on the right hand side of me the decision's going to come through there we have it not out I one feel that's the correct decision there for me JK uh, also definitely. seemed to go through the hands before ever nearing going to that the stumps there so well done to Wilma and everybody there for the pictures given as well and we're back here with 11 runs needed of 7 deliveries yeah, better getting the benefit of the doubt there as that was really not conclusive for the third umpire. So good decision there from uh, both the on-field umpires to refer it and from the third umpire, Wilma Jones, here. Give that one not out. And they're still alive, uh, Tigerberg, in this chase. 11 of 7 needed.
Been a good over so far from Piers Seister. There we go to that all-important sixth ball. We've waited some time for that all-important sixth ball. Piers Seister, he's going to steam in from the town end. Hit firmly down the ground. The ball's making its way to the boundary. Four! Wow, what a shot that is. He just hit that one beautifully and it went down straight. No safer place is there on the cricket field and there's no field in there. Or hitting the ball straight, Franco, and it was very successful to him. So now then, seven runs needed. Six balls still remaining. Who's going to be entrusted with that over? Well, is it going to be the successful bowler from the previous over? Is it going to be able? Will he be able to get them over the line? No, it is he going like to... It's going to be able. It's going to be oh, Tashus. There we go. It's, it's going to be Tashus. Tashus Robenheimer. He's going to be entrusted with a final over here. Seven runs needed. Six balls to come. Eight wickets in hand. JK, surely, surely, Tiger Bird can't mess it up from here. Uh, you wouldn't think so, but seven off six. You know, it just sounds easy, doesn't it? But it's all down to the men in the middle. They've got to be able to make it happen. One wicket. Couple of dot balls, you just never know. What are they going to do? They're going to work it around. They're going to go for the big shot early. Well, we're going to have a little bit of an interesting field here, I tell you. So, we've only got four men on the offside. Those four men, short third point, man on an extra cover boundary, and a man at a long off boundary. So now, Cassius with his left arm sure what you call it. Just let's go left arm bowling for now. He's got a long run up. He's bowling to Janaid Kasim. Seven runs. Six balls. All three decisions. Still a possibility here. Going to be really, really interesting to see left arm around by the looks of things. Medium well, paces. The leg side fielders are still way on the boundary. They should come off ten there. That is smashed to the man, that deep extra. He picks it up with one hand. Gets a throw in. Oh, and it's again Ambrose backing up. Is this going to be one? Brings Frank on strike. Six runs. Five balls. All decisions still possible here. Brilliant stuff here from the bowler Tertius. Robenheimer first up. That's hit again. This time to long off. It's just going to be one again. Now, the interesting point for me is they got Abel and they got Eric, possibly two of the non quicker players on the boundary. That's another bit of cricket awareness that they just need to carry in with them because they can easily run two there as well. You sense the closer it gets to that two or three balls left, the more they're going to be thinking about two. Dot ball. Dot ball. Now then, three balls, five runs. Tashus, have you got it for your team here? Have you got it? Hands on heads, hands in front of mouths, squeezing that. Bottle that they drink in the early doors. Oh, it's going to be squeezed. It's just going to be one. It's just going to be one. Four runs now needed. Two balls still remaining. JK, speak to me. It's going down to the wire, isn't it? This is this is what we want to see, isn't it? This is what T10 cricket's all about. Super over. Give us a super over. Let us continue with this thrilling game here. No scoring game. Who says they're not exciting? Lots been said here. Come on, boys. There's a shot from the sideline. Hey, well, they're standing. They, they can't sit, JK. I can't sit. No, it's uh, 
certainly time to be off your seat here. What's this going to be? It's a critical delivery. It's gone a slow ball, and it's gone for a wide. It's gone for a wide. One more added to the total. Three runs still remaining. Two balls, JK. Hey, just try and bit too hard there, maybe, with that slow ball. Just keep it there. Just keep it outside that off stump. Oh, it's excellent. It's, it's got wide delivery, though, but it's going to go upstairs. It's going to go upstairs for the decision. The unfortunate thing here is it's been given a wide, so the runs required is going to be two. The balls remaining will still be two. I don't think this matters here for me. It just means a new batter is going to come in. The wide is a critical thing here, JK. It is. We now wait for the decision here from umpire Wilma Jones, third umpire. Yeah, two off two it will be, irrespective of what happens with the decision. Pictures we, the pictures we got there, JK. This is going to be an interesting decision. Oh, it's great work done by Van der Moorman, but I think he's done it too early. Yeah, he should have waited for him to overbalance. He didn't take long enough, did he? Too right. quick on the draw there. We back onto this game. Two runs needed, two balls remaining. It was like he was on the street in the west, in the west, and he just drove out that six gun a little bit too early. Man, oh man, which way is this going to go? It's full of good over tashes, but two wides could cost them. Here we go. That's been clipped, and it's gone for four, and that brings victory to Tigerberg Creek Club, sponsored by MG Lion, and they managed to get there in the end, over Northern Scooter Creek Club, sponsored by Tart 777. We were held right up until the end there. What a game, JK. Oh, what a game indeed, and as you say, Eugene, often these lower scoring games are the ones that <laughs> it away for the winning runs. Yeah, what a game that was. What a game to call here for James and myself, Eugene here. It's been a game that took us right down to the wire. Tiger McCree Club getting over the line with one ball to spare. In a low scoring affair, it has to be said. Total they needed was 79 and they got there in the end. But certainly again, Northern Scooter will again look at that batting of theirs and say they've got to find a way to muster up to get to 90 or 100, because that's where they need to be competitive. Yeah, 100% right, Eugene. Just not able to get to a competitive score, having lost those wickets early, and uh, just nearly getting over the line, but it was Tiger Berg who managed to just squeak home in the end with only two wickets down. Yeah, they got there in the end, and uh, I think they will also take a lot, of, a lot of confidence from this victory today. Yeah, they got the points on the board, but I think the manner in that last few tense overs, I think they'll have a look at that. But the more important thing is they got the W for themselves. It gets them off the mark. So, again, it's going to be something for Northern Scooter to really look at. And they really got a way to find a way to score a little bit more runs. They finally can compete. It shows that. But they have to do a little bit better with bat in hand. So it's going to be interesting to see the log after that delivery, uh, that delivery, that result here today with Northern's Goodwood now having lost two matches in this uh, series. The Cape Town Cricket Club, Club Cricket League T10 brought to you by Golf Tickets and the two teams up later on today at 1.30 Rondebosch Cricket Club sponsored by Winfair 247 against Belleville Cricket Club, sponsored by Bet Bricks 7. That's on at 1.30 p.m. South African Standard Time, 3.30 p.m. UAE, and 5 p.m. Indian Standard Time. 
It's live on YouTube at CCCL. And uh, the team from Northern's Goodwood just coming here into our into their change room to the right of us. We still have the victorious team, Tigerberg, on the field that you can see there as we wait for the post-match presentation. And it's going to be the team, as you see there, Northern's Goodwood, uh, now into the dressing room and on the field still, just having their huddle there. The victorious team of Tigerberg, they're on the board in uh, this tournament, the golf ticket tournament uh, presenting Cape Town Club Cricket League T10. And really has been wonderful to be with you here this morning for this match in a really hot conditions here at the Durbanville Cricket Club. And good work done in the middle there by the umpires, Vimpy Nell and Mawande Chambai. And the third umpire, Wilma Jones, caught into action twice in that Tigerberg innings with a close run out and also the uh, stumping later on in the piece. And will be uh, Eugene Molion who's going to be bringing you the post-match presentation and uh, chatting to both the captains at the end of this particular match as we see the victorious team making their way off the field. And just to show you this beautiful Cape Town vista there, Table Mountain, Cable Way, and into Boer Park. There, beautiful Boer Park area, historical area of Cape Town. And the beautiful painted houses. You can see Table Mountain in the background. Really is a stunning, stunning city to visit. Massive tourist attraction for many people. And if there's a place you want to come to in South Africa, Cape Town is the place to come. And there we see the hop-on, hop-off sightseeing Cape Town bus takes you to many of the sites in and around Cape Town. There's the vineyards out there in the Stellenbosch and Paul area. And once again, that you can see in this part of the world. And right now then, uh, we are going to be having with us uh, at the post-match presentation, we have got uh, Eugene Molion. And he will be joining us now from the presentation area. And welcome back here to the Golf Ticket Presents Cape Town Club Cricket League T10. We had match number seven here between Tigerberg Cricket Club, sponsored by MG Lion, as well as Northern Goodwood Cricket Club. They were sponsored by Taz 7-7, a game that went right down to the wire, low-scoring affair. But Tigerberg Cricket Club, they come out victorious here winning with one ball to spare. I'm going to call on Ambrose here for um, Northern Scooter just to come and have a word. Well, Ambrose, you seem to be sort of being attracted to these low-scoring games and games going to, uh, down to the wire. Yes, yeah, I don't know what it is with us, but we like those tight games. We like the tight games. Listen, I'm sure you're going to look back, especially in that second innings of opportunities that probably went to miss there. You probably could have grasped the game early on in that second innings. Yes, yeah, we dropped too many catches, and catches win matches at the end of the day. So, Yeah, you dropped three catches, but again, I think from the batting perspective, you're going to have to find a way to try and get yourself up to the 100, and I think you just have to think about how you're going to get that. Yes, yeah, um, I'll have to have a chat with my batsmen because they're not doing the job, and that's what's letting us down at the moment. <laughs> yeah, although, but a lot of excitement as well, but I think these close games, you probably can get a lot of, a bit of credit of how you're taking it right down to the wire as well. Yes, yeah, look, uh, we're bowling well in patches, but there's the odd wide, odd bad ball that goes away, and that's what we need to clamp up on. Yeah, that's part of cricket, and there's always the small margins. But listen, we want to wish you well there for the remaining of the tournament. Thanks a lot, eh? Thanks. That was Ambrose, captain of the Northern Guru team. And now we're going to have Ethan Adams, the captain of Tigerberg Cricket Club. He's going to come and have a word, and I'm sure he'll be very delighted with that, finally getting over the mark. You got your W that you wanted. Yeah, we got the W and it was a bit exciting. We always make games, it's small games, small targets, we make that exciting. I don't know, we always find a way to make it exciting. Yeah, it was a possibly a good toss for windy for you guys today. Conditions really suited you guys, especially with the bowlers that you have. 
Yes, the bowlers up front bowled pretty well. The ball was sticking into the deck, so it was a good toss to win. Yeah, and then Shaden showed us what he's capable of in the shorter format, scoring a good 31 there. Um, and then again, the guys just in the middle order probably just giving you a little bit more heart palpitations, more like it. Yeah, we always find a way to make it difficult instead of playing basic cricket, but hopefully in the next few games we'll catch our draft and start scoring more. Listen, go well. You've got your W in the second game. All the best for the remainder of this tournament. Thank you, and all the best to you guys. Cheers. Yeah, and there we have it. This is the post-match presentation here between Tiger Bay Cricket Club and Northern's Goodwood Cricket Club. Tiger Bay Cricket coming out of the top there in that one. They're finally getting the W. Join us again for match number eight here between Ronda Bosch Cricket Club, sponsored by Winfair 247. They'll be up against Belleville Cricket Club, sponsored by Bed Brick 7. See you later.